guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul where I show you the items I find at my local Dollar Tree week after week on a weekly basis. So this week did not disappoint as well. It's definitely not as big as my haul last week because that was like the pre-Easter haul and I found a ton of notebooks, which ironically enough, I wasn't going to get them all last week. I thought, let me break it up and I'll get a couple next week to show you guys, but I didn't. I bought, I think it was 10 of them. I bought all 10 and guess what there were none today so I'm so happy you know that makes me practice what I preach if you see something that you want you have got to grab it that day it will be gone tomorrow I took a ton of pictures today because there were things that I did not get so they will be at the end and I'll talk you through them and walk you through just so they're not flashing on the screen you can kind of hear my take on the items and stuff like that so hang out for those but let's go ahead and jump into the haul because as always I'm really excited to show you guys what I got so so first I found some new Bolero now I went in one aisle like the like body wash aisle and stuff and I saw all this Bolero that's been there for weeks and I thought to myself well Bolero used to be sold out but I guess they're having so much of it that people kind of have their fill pretty much so I kept walking minding my business and at a completely different end cap they had new Bolero Bolero I've never seen before and that is the honeysuckle and green tea these are the wipes it comes in like a really cute striped bag and I just like to get one of each of these just to try them out and they're great for giveaways so I do have quite a few of these that I do plan on giving away at some point but I picked up two packs of those and then I also this one isn't a new like flavor or scent but you don't see it as often it is the coconut oil and sea salt and this is for hydrating as well but I just love the packaging on that it's so pretty definitely and then I got a, a couple lotions. I got two of these of the honeysuckle and green tea. My mom loves green tea. So I picked those up, one for her and one for me. And then I also picked up one of the coconut oil and sea salts. One thing I can say about the body cream and hand creams from Bolero is at first it feels really thin and almost watered down, but after it dries into your skin, your hands are so soft. So I stand by these 100%. I kind of have some things in the Bolero products that I don't buy. I don't buy the bath fizzies or the bath bombs. I just don't think it's a great value for a dollar. I think that bath bombs are a dime a dozen anymore so I, I just feel like they're not really worth it to me but I did take some pictures of what they had so like I said stay into the end for those and then I also picked up a coconut and sea salt hand wash for my work bathroom we have one from, I think I got the Burberry Mint or something mint around Christmas time and my boss has just been refilling it with different soap and the bottle was getting kind of yucky so I thought why not pick up one of those for work because it is a reflection on me really when my clients go in there. Another beauty product that I saw are these foot masks. It's an April Bath and Shower Moisturizing Soothing Collagen Foot Mask. And I always get two when I see stuff like this. I get one for my mom and one for me. So what it looks like, guys, is it comes with a plastic bag or some sort of bag. And you put it over your feet and then peel it off. I've been seeing a lot of these. So I'm curious to see how these ones kind of compare to the other ones that are coming out. And then I also saw this three-pack of hand cream. It has green tea, sweet berries, and vanilla passion. I thought that was a pretty great value. And it does have like that little screw top that you see a lot in the hand creams let me show you oh yeah there we go so you see like one of those i love those kind of hand creams you kind of get these kind in like ipsy and boxy charms and stuff like that so i thought that that was a great value we'll see how they do now i finally got some old williamsburg candles i never buy these i know a lot of people haul these my girl nicole hauls these a lot uh, 45 and fab Lisa she does as well but I never grabbed them but when I saw Lisa haul the watermelon I thought oh my goodness I have got to see that so when I found it today it just smells so good it smells like bubblicious watermelon gum so I'm gonna put this at my workstation and see how the throw is just in my little area I don't need it to go far and then honeydew melon is one of my all-time favorite scents home interiors I don't know if you guys are familiar with home interior you have to comment down below if you are they used to make candle candles and the honeydew melon was my absolute favorite 
like as a teenager and this smells just like it these actually smell really good and i believe nicole said there is an awesome throw on them so i'm excited about them i did pick up four photo albums there's a ton of photo things for mother's day and just in general little frames took pictures of all of them there's more signs and plaques i just don't really buy any of that stuff but there's a ton of them um, I bought four new albums. I've been doing the accordion coupon holder and then I have one big photo album I use for my coupons, but I decided to pick these up when I saw them. I think that they're cute and I'm going to try to put my coupons in them and see what I think of that method because sometimes I don't clip all of my coupons. I clip them as needed and then I'm in the store and I regret not bringing a specific coupon if you see a clearance or something like that. And I always tell myself, I'm going to go back later in the week and I never do so I definitely want to try that and see if I can start clipping my entire inserts what I don't want to do is get back into the baseball card dividers and the big binder that's just so much work and all the coupons end up expiring it's like a hot mess I found two notebooks finally these are the wooden ones they seem like they're wooden but they're not and there's a cutout on the big word so it says dream big with some flowers and you can see how they are. It's like a wood grain. Really love this. And there's 60 sheets in here. It has the spiral notebook. And then this one is Shine Bright. And again, the bright is cut out. I just really love this. I hope you guys can see. Like, yeah, there you go. It's so cool. It's a really cool notebook. I thought, you know what, why not? And then I got another stuff to do list. This is a list pad. It does not have a magnet, but it's pretty cool. It just says stuff to do and I always write my list on things like this when I'm going to pull inventory for eBay like when like two shirts sell and I need to know where they are specifically I'll always write them on a piece of paper like that and run downstairs with it now with all of those notebooks I bought some pens so I never saw these ones before they're retractable pens they're gel they have a 0 0.7 tip and these are in blue Wanted to try those out. And then I wanted to get a Sharpie, but they had the one packs. And I thought, no, I'm not gonna get it because occasionally you can find the three pack at the Dollar Tree. Well, then I moved it and there was two packs. So I actually bought three of these two packs because I just love having Sharpies. And when you get the two for a dollar, it's a great deal. I feel like a few months ago, I did find a four pack there where two were black and there was a blue or a red. Almost positive about that, but two for a dollar, I'm happy with. And pens, I don't know why I continue to buy pens. From school supplies, I have a ton of pens. I guess I just prefer like the gel kind of pens and not like Bic. So these are retractable pens as well. They do have the gripper, but these are the 1.0 um tip you can see right there and i think i actually like them a bit better but this is a four pack and i think if i'm not mistaken i really like these ones so i'll have to see and then i picked this up for jordan it's the 10 color pen and you can just i remember these when i was a kid you push down the color you want to use and then it comes out the bottom so they have like green yellow blue they have every color under there. And they had the blue ones as well. I was going to get Michael one, but honestly, I don't feel like he would use it. But what I did get Michael is his hot and spicy soup. I'm noticing they don't have these every week at the Dollar Tree. So when they had them, I had to pick them up. They are the hot and spicy with shrimp and the hot and spicy with chicken. He loves these things. Now, they do have a five or six pack of ramen noodles that come in the square. We don't really like those, so we didn't get them, but that is a great value if your family likes them. Now, with Michael's lunch, he likes to take dipping sauces sometimes, like hot sauce, mustard, honey mustard, and I always put them in like the Chick-fil-A cups, not Chick-fil-A, Chipotle cups. You know, they give you the little clear plastic cups, but they bend and they break. So when I saw these, I had to get them. They had the rectangles like this, and then they had the squares, but I thought these rectangles will fit a McDonald's sauce packet perfect. So I thought, you know what? I could get these, put like a barbecue for McDonald's in there, put the lid on it and call it a day. And you can see here, it's normally 10, but you got a bonus of 12. I took a picture, all of their summertime containers, popcorn buckets, um, drink bottles, 
even like a regular hand bucket, they all are bonus packs right now. So if you're supposed to get two, you're getting three. If you're supposed to get 10, you're getting 12. I took a ton of pictures of those as well, but yeah, 12 for a dollar, yes please. And that way, if one gets ruined or he loses it at school, I won't be like, man, why'd you lose my Tupperware kind of thing. So some of the food item I found were great, great values again. This is the Snyder's of Hanover. You get eight bags in here and they are the mini pretzels, but that's okay. So you get eight bags in here for a dollar. That is great. I bought two of those. My store actually had the big bags of the nuggets as well, but I figured because I was buying those, why not just stick with those? And then I did find some goody hair ties. These thin ones are not my fave, but they're great to have for a dollar. And white, light brown, brown, and black, yeah, we'll take them. I actually have one of the same ones on my wrist right now. And they don't leave a huge indent on my wrist like some of the thicker ones. So that's what made me like push over the edge. But 29 goodie hair ties for a dollar, yes. Now, they had a ton of spices as well. These new ones here, they're Supreme Tradition. The only one I bought was the Memphis Barbecue. I'll go ahead and insert the picture here now. They had like Louisiana, um, they had minced onion, they had garlic powder, they had lemon pepper, they had like six different ones. And this is a great size for a dollar. I'm really excited to try the Memphis barbecue. So yeah, I'm excited to try that. I picked up two bags of Jolly Ranchers, you know, for my work candy jar. I'm running low on those. It's been a couple weeks since I got those. My mom loves things like this. This is the Nut Clusters by Sherwood. And it looks like it has some good stuff in here. Four grams of protein, one gram of fiber. This one is the Peanut, Pumpkin Seed, and Blueberries. Yeah, these are so yummy too. So if she doesn't like them, um, me or the kids will eat them. And then she's obsessed with cranberries. So I got her the peanut, sunflower, pumpkin seed, and cranberries. So yeah, these are so good. We always buy things like this from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. They always get you in the, you know, when you're standing in line, they have all that great stuff by the line. So they always suck us in with that. I did end up getting one sign and it's one of the, what's that, canvas? I forgot what it's called, but it's one of these. They had two other ones at my store, but I just picked up this one because it, it just is good with me. Everything starts with a dream. I love that. It is so cute. And this is a Greenbrier product. Okay, it does still have it, but I love this just to sit on my desk. I know a lot of farmhouse chicks would like the, what's that called, galvanized metal or something metal. But yeah, so cute. There was a picture frame and it's, it's in the Mother's Day like end cap. And it had flowers on it. And they had a couple other ones that said like family, friends, memories. Um, but they were really poorly made. They had a plastic wrapper. And I started buying the flower one. It was like antique looking. I loved it. But just pay attention when you buy stuff, guys. Because the paper ends were not merged. Or they were over folded. And it just wasn't good. Even for a dollar. You know, why waste the dollar if it's not done right? So that was kind of a bummer. I really, really liked that. I did get two grill supplies. They do have, or three actually. They have a ton of grill stuff. They have like the mustard and ketchup containers. They have the little baskets for a hot dog, which I wish I would have got them, but I'm sure they'll have them next week. If they don't, it wasn't meant to be. Um, they have really cute paper plates that look like a white and red checker pattern. So cute. But stuff like this costs like five bucks. So I figured why not get this? This is like a metal. It has the hard scraper and then the like a Brillo pad ish. And then I got the big Brillo pad one. They also had these things, they're white things and you push your burgers down with it. I was gonna get that too, but I thought on the grill it might get hot on your hand. So I don't know, we'll see what I think next week. I do change week by week. I'm gonna show you. I bought a pack of the Brillo basics. I thought this was a great box for a dollar. There's 10 of them. 10 small size single wool soap pads. So guys, y'all have to let me know, is this something that's always at Dollar Tree or was it just this time? I don't know. And then I picked this up for the grill. This is the two pack and these are disposable. 
In the girl section, they had the ones that you would wash and clean with your new Brillo pads. But once I saw these in the throwaway section, I thought this is much easier. You use it on the grill and then you toss it. You don't have to clean anything. And you guys know when you're having a cookout and all of it's done and you've been in the sun and the kids are tired and in bed, the last thing you want to do is clean an extra dish. So anything that I can have just to throw away is A-OK -okay with me. So yeah, I was happy to find this. And then I also found two more disposable bags, um, reusable bags. This one is just a pretty design and these are wide and shorter. And then it has the burgundy purple color on the inside, very nice. And then this one's the same thing, but in teal and red, beautiful, look at that. And then the side is the teal color. So these are actually, let me see, I used one of them for the store. It doesn't say, but I just feel like they're wider than the normal ones that you see. Something I found last week and I didn't buy, and I kind of wish I did, I was just torn, were the Rachel Ray plates. And last week they had the bowls and the coffee cups and I believe something else, and I didn't bite. I didn't get it, and I just left the store and just kept on going, and I wish I would have because then I could have had the bowls and the mugs, but I have to be happy. I ended up getting five of the big plates and five of the little ones the reason why I didn't get them last week is because I did just buy some plates from Target and I have plenty of bowls I have so many Pyrex bowls and all of that but these plates are really nice and I thought you know what why not I mean Thanksgiving they would be really nice and everybody will have matching ones so yeah I picked up five of each I paid ten dollars for ten plates which is such a great buy but if your store hasn't gotten Rachel Ray yet it probably will just keep looking and even check in the normal plate area because both of my stores had them on end caps but they had some mixed into their normal plate area too like they have some that look just like this but they're not Rachel Ray so just pay attention it will say Rachel Ray on the back just like that so yeah they're definitely a great great buy so like I said I found a bunch of items that I did not buy that I wanted to show you guys so let me go ahead and go through them now I said there's a bunch of summer things that have extra items so I'm just gonna pop through those real quick there's little like jar containers popcorn holders like lunch tupperwares little buckets water bottles there's everything so look out for those bonus packs there were these plates bowls napkins pot holders they're a beautiful paisley print they caught my eye from across the store if you're looking to redo your kitchen grab these up they're beautiful in person they did have these kids lego sets with the little boards i thought that that was a great buy legos are so expensive had all of these new signs guys grateful sees my blessings kindness is always free life is good all you need is love that was my favorite out of the six they have faith love and hope and thankful and blessed I also found these beer magnets. One says cold beer, the other one says hoppy hour. And then there were these barbecue hand like pot holders and rags. I thought that they were so cute little towels for your kitchen. And then here's all of the grill supplies. So that white thing there is the burger presser I was talking about. They have the corn on the cob things. They have the paper to fill the baskets. It was really, really good. Are these baked beans. I need to know, have you guys tried these baked beans? They looked really yummy but I wanted your opinion first it's moonshine baked beans by whiskey hollow they look so good but I didn't want to jump on them and they are a big can maybe I'll grab them next week and then they had this twin pack of hamburger helper I just ever since a little kid whenever I would eat hamburger helper I would throw up I don't know if I was allergic to something in it but my kids have never even tried it I am not doing that and then I found these new bags I think I saw the Minnie and the Mickey last week but the princesses and the Toy Story were definitely new if you like these kind of things for your children they're great for party gifts I always pick these up as my gift bags and then they had baby food, beach nut baby food. I don't know if there's any coupons for this out there, but if it is and you have a baby or a granddaughter or a grandson, head on over there and get some of these. I believe that a dollar is still good for one jar. Okay, now LA Colors came out with a bunch of makeup. So this here are highlighter palettes. And then we have this metal metallic lipstick. They were fully stocked, brand new. I bet you they just came out today. They have the corrective concealers again. I know they had these before. 
They had these lip duos. They are lip, like a chubby stick and then a lip pencil. And then new mascaras by LA Colors. And here's my favorite. Look at these palettes. I'm just not in the market for any more makeup or I would have gotten these, but they're really nice. So if you're looking for those, go and get them. And last but not least, they did have some pressed powder, which I thought was a pretty good deal for those as well. And then here's some more of the Bolero that I did not buy. The body wash, the hand wash, the bath soak. And then here's some bath fizzers. And then they also had the bath bombs. Here's some of those frames I was telling you about. Love and memories and friends and family. Well, guys, that was my Dollar Tree haul this week. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I got. More importantly, I hope you're able to get over to your store and get a bunch of the items that are on your wish list. I really enjoy doing these hauls every week. I love going and finding new things. It still amazes me that I can go week after week and find a bunch of stuff that I didn't see the week before. It's amazing how they do that, and it goes as quick as they get it. So that's why I really like to be consistent. The Dollar Tree videos have been my most consistent videos, I think, ever. So I hope I do not break that pattern because I really do enjoy bringing you guys a haul week after week. So if you're new to my channel, well then welcome. I hope that you will subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.